Hello everyone! Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time we got our chocobos. There's still some things that we need to do with the chocobo and a lot more to explore in the grasslands. While I am going to be doing all the world intel in each area, I won't be showing all of that here on this playthrough. So I'll be showing you guys a lot of the side quests, the proto relics, the Moogle places, things like that, but not every single little battle intel, not every single little Mako spring and things like that. If you guys do want to see like everything for some reason, you can always go to my archives channel, um, Bunny Tales Archives. There is a link in the description for that channel if you guys want to just see the Twitch VODs with everything included, not edited. But otherwise, please enjoy these edited episodes and let's explore a little bit more of the grasslands today. There's still some things I want to show you guys before we move on with the main story and it's really good stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Press R1. Use your choco whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring the world. Note that you can only call a chocobo in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. What's this? Choco Boutique? I don't have anything right now. Where'd you go, Billy? Chadley, what are you doing here, you creeper? Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a gold big saucer. deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. Oh? But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Pico! <coughs> Whoa! This way! Speak to Billy. I want to fly! Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Yes. Okay, use the training grounds on Bill's Ranch to get the hang of Choco back riding. Pass each of the goal posts in order and complete the course as quickly as possible. R2 or L3 to dash, press again to sprint, and circle his jump. Participate. Oh, we get. Ugh. Beat it in 31 seconds or less. Hello? That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. I got a crescent moon charm well, you though. Have what it takes to win a race or two at the gold saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? 
Yep. Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't oh boy. Out just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same yeah, deal. we did. Come on, Cloud. People the world over willing to pay top gill for Cloud's hire, hand for hire services. Track these odd jobs, open the map, and select quests. You can warp to any unlocked waypoints, such as towns, repaired chocobo stops, and activated Renma wave towers. Okay, note that you can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you have wrangled the region's chocobo. <laughs> okay. So we can fast travel to this. Fast travel. Fast travel to Calm. Chadley. Side hustle. Oh my god, this freaking game is huge. Well, let's try to get this chocobo racing thing. Let's try to get rank three. I think I messed up already. We're zooming through. For sure. Two more tries. <laughs> you could hit it like that it's a little bit more difficult than it uh than it looks <laughs> ah oh my god why is this so difficult oh my god up at the races yes sir things you should definitely do on stream any green icons moogles proto relic requests and queen's blood matches proto relic quests okay well we have a moogle let's do us let's go see a moogle let's start by seeing a moogle oh and actually let's do this it's right here the green quest some help you did oh i see billy talked to you didn't he i've been meaning to go pick flowers but the planes are way too dangerous for that i'm sorry to hear that as a flower lover myself i sympathize well the thing is i want to make a flower crown mom used to make them for us all the time so i wanted to give it a try but with all the monsters i didn't know how i could Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? 
Um. Oh wow, we can. Do we want to ask what happened to her parents? So nosy, so rude. Let's do it. Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy oh. doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. Ask about Billy. I awesome, would, Billy. It's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. I wanted to do something nice for him. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. How do you know Chocobo Sam? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. That's what? what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. We'll take the job. Really? You will? Mm -hmm. The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. I'm totally down to do it. Let's go. <sighs> so much for doing main story. I guess, you know, this isn't going to be a quick playthrough. Bill, what you doing? What you doing, Bill? Let me guess. Y'all are fixing to finally cross the swamplands, right? Oh, yeah. yeah I forgot about that. Plan. While I was making a routine inspection of my signage, a group of fellas shambled on by, heading toward the bog. Looked like a funeral procession, what with their black robes. Black robes? Yes, indeed. Told them they'd need some chocobos for safe passage, but I ain't even sure they heard me. I expect Midgard Swarm will make a meal out of those boys. But if you do catch up to them first, try to convince them to swing by the ranch. What a nice guy. The moment you get on a chocobo, your world gets a hundred million times bigger. <sighs> All right, here we go. <gasps> Aerith has a chocobo. Barrett has a chocobo. What are you? <laughs> Red has a choker ball. best game ever hop inside a mushroom shake mog stool to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein enter the mog stool yes We've been what completely the? transported. Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet. And I'm not even sure when we will be. <laughs> Those Mooglets are refusing to come back. And we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually... Maybe you wouldn't mind helping? They're a little bit scary. The are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. Round up Moogles? And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Koopo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks 
Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back to their mog stool or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just be aware they're playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end. Oh, crap. Bring them all back to the mog stool. I got one. How do I catch him? Oh God. What is... Do I have a time limit? Oh my God, bananas. Two down, three to go. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm in like Winnie the Pooh's land or something? Oh my god. Oh no. A circle at just the right time to evade. Well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? How do I catch you? I didn't catch it? There we go. I guess I couldn't, um... I couldn't quite get to him. I only got three? I thought I had more than that. Wait, he got away. This little bitch. Get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in there, Mosh! Mosh, I'm gonna eat you for breakfast. Bitch. Over here. Get in there. So how do you catch them? You're a lifesaver, Koopo. I just said I could catch them and take them back. Google medals, ether, ruby. Oh, we need to get some of this stuff. <gasps> I can get one. A primer on proper sword technique increases cloud skill points. Manuscript detailing some of the martial arts best kept secrets uh, increases Tifa's skill points. All right, and we're gonna get cloud skill points up here. Cloud game ten SP. Just so you know, there are six more mob stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Dude, this game is, there's so much. There's so much. We're going to be playing this game for 200 hours. We're going to be playing. We're, we're, this is going to be the last game we play this year. We're gonna be playing this for the rest of the year. Forget about my plan. Forget about it. <gasps> Drifting! There's 
Chocobo drifting. <sighs> All right, let's see what some of this stuff is. What's going on? Hello? Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? No. These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge. Is this Slumbering the titan thing? Slumbering massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia. So I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. We did this once before, but we we did it the before we talked to Chadley. Sanctuaries. In the age of myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. View again, view again. Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Frequent oh, I just did that. How do you think I got here? Hi. This is positively incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. I'm counting on you. Examining a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order and you must memorize their positions in necessary timing. The points will then disappear and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you will succeed, you'll weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. What? Okay. This sounds hard. Maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, they gave me an easy one for the first one. Interesting. I've never really played a, a mini game like that. It's like a memory slash rhythm game kind of thing. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Sweet. All right. Well, I think we can go through all these intel points. I think we can get get through pretty quickly. Then we can kind of decide which of these things we should do for the future, like off stream or on stream. There's another one. Cloud, the proto relic should be somewhere in your vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Oh, okay. Max said that we should do proto relics on stream. Uh, but it's still locked. What are we looking for? Oh, right here. I just walked right past it. Hello? Yep, this here's something that will 
appreciate. <laughs> Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Wait, what are we appreciating? When something appreciates <laughs> it, uh, it means it's worth a it? lot of kill. Right? Are these the same guys from? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! God! Oh, what the, the hell are you people doing here? Who are you? Oh hell no! Don't you dare act like you're Okay, yeah, these the are the guys asses. from remake. Yeah, you all sit to our home and beat us to shit. We hadn't even done nothing. You big jerks! You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization. Oh, are we? News to me. Ooh. Na, 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 na. What did you find? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that... What are you doing here? <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We so are we. Legit. We're a business now. Mm -hmm. They're a special kind of stupid. If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top. Is that so? Yeah, we're gonna appreciate all the things. What a bop. Hand it over. Hold on. Now you're after our treasure? Well, it sucks to be you. We found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Ha! Do you really think that's enough to intimidate mm. the lights? No, please, it's all yours. Just don't hurt us again. Play dead! Play dead! What you oh, so we're dead. freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to say your plan in front of us. Where we can hear. Thank you for the follow. All of you, that's who. Wait, gentlemen, it has been an honor. It is alive. Be back in the hideout. Damn it, decoys are dead. Fuck all of it. All right. Weak to fire. Get him. Damn. Damn. I didn't get to assess the other guy. Guess we'll have to get him next time. I assume we'll be seeing them again. <laughs> what is he saying? SMPs? Maybe they're all weak to um, fire, probably. Allow me. Don't overdo it. Guess it's my turn. Yeah. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Suck on me. Check out this shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> My readings indicate the proto-realm is on the move. Would you mind 
updating me on the situation? Bandits beat us to it. Oh? I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto relics destination. Would you mind heading there? Anything for you, Chadster. Oh, here's one, here's one, here's one. These tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. Oh, it's like the uh, the foxes and the birds in Ghost of Tsushima. Where is he though? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Look, he's so cute. What's wrong with your butt? Are you wearing a diaper? Why do you have a shell on your butt? <laughs> Look at him clap his little wings! Oh! He's cheering us on! Obtained a golden plume. Can we pet him? <laughs> Again. Again. What a good little chocobo. Oh my god. I can't handle it. Oh, guys, this is so cool. I didn't know this game was gonna be so cool. Whoa, whoa! What do you. Hello? What do I do with this guy? Are you trying to lead me somewhere? Surveying life springs grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Follow a spring seeker owl. Will lead you to her life spring, its natural inhabitant. Hey, you see that? I think it's the life stream. Oh, I love the music here. Whoa. We can't go swimming? I guess if it's filled with Mako, we probably wouldn't want to, right? Oh. We're making progress. Calm, a recent history. Regional intel. Surveying live spring allows you to decipher the knowledge of the live stream revealing regional intel. What a game. I can't believe it. I can't believe what they've done. 
And they made this in four years? Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's Chad? a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your Chad personal Co? monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck! Okay. Um... <laughs> The fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from these battles. Can I use this place. items? Rare Toxarath variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous, capable of spitting toxic fluids on its prey before attacking in mass. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alpha ducks. Imagine something like that creeping into every corner it can find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. With any luck, the data we collect here will aid us in finding a way to reduce their numbers. Oh, my song! My favorite song! Too bad. Weak to ice. Need a breather. an enemy staggered any enemy avoid being poisoned what happens if i get all three that seems tedious and annoying is the prize good for doing all that like because I, I i'd rather skip it honestly where's the little baby chocobo there you are all right are you gonna cheer for me you gonna clap clap for me cheer me on up there a pet <laughs> weather vane barrett weatherman barrett all right we're back we're back in calm shinra's gone thank god I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix the. <laughs> uh, never mind. What? Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? <laughs> anyway, it's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. 
some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity, or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? I'm curious to see who this is. Inquire about the pipeline. It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgard's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was fun. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be a joke, mister. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. Is this somebody we'll recognize, I wonder? You will? Capital! Somebody sent by Shinra? I haven't introduced myself yet. Mm. I'm Fritz Bellinger. The mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary mayor is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Everyone, please! One at a time! Be the same the rare, on it, but I think rare. you're the only Hurry one who's made a name for themselves in the you Undercity. The so you don't know who he was talking about? Mm. No. We're working as Not hard as we can to get the power you're the only back hot shot I know. Most undercity mercs don't go bragging about being ex soldier. True. Soldier first class. Side hustle. Is this guy still waiting? Oh no. Something good has to be in store for me after suffering through that interrogation. Patience is always rewarded, right? Poor guy. Check out the bulletin board. Livestock's bane from nature-loving farmer in the grasslands at Oliver's farm. A clever fiend at, of some sort's been preying on my livestock of late. And if I can't put a stop to it, my farm's doomed. Seems clear a run-of-the-mill hunter won't cut it, but I'm in the market for a... Uh, so I'm in the market for a merc with solid tracking skills. Well, if you can track a chocobo, you could track it all. That's what I always say. Hey, dog. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't caught you yet. Thanks. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? That's what I'm here for. I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? It's what I do. What do you know about it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that was a bust. How do you know Broden? Wait, who's Broden? Oh, is he the he's the guy who helped us, right? The innkeeper? The system here is something special. Worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up. And I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Nice. All right, let's go hunt, hunt a fiend. That's your dog there? Might have a pet him? I don't, but he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> 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 Something tells me he's not all bark. True. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. I also have chocobos that are good at sniffing. Oh, he is like all, all for it. Here. So, it's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. 
Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Have your chocobo sent the air. Oh, hello. Yep, okay. Look at Red getting on his chocobo! still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. Oh, that's the scent. All right, let's go. Track it from here on out? No, the chocobo has led us this far after all. Go, chocobo! This is a fun little tune. I think we're we got this. And how far is this thing? Where are we going? Way out here. on the beach there defeat the fiend energy over time dealing damage or blocking its attacks will cause it to lose energy once all its energy has been depleted it will become pressured This guy's a dick. Need to heal up. After you. Yeah. Oh. Time. And 
Cloud died. Anyways. Great. I'll take care of them. One more shot. We still give them it all. All right. Watch and learn. Okay. Um. God damn it! Block! Block, you bastard! I think I need to lie down. I'll finish it. He's too strong. You're up. Gotta be careful. He's too strong. Man, I need high potions. What the hell? Dude, this fire is bullshit. boss dude that fire is crazy okay so he has no weaknesses do i have to assess him again we do too bad Deal with that. Yes, it's my turn. Whatever. Bring it home. I'll show you what I can do. Actually, maximum fury. Oh, he's going down now. He didn't even get a chance to use this fire bullshit. I'll take that. You've got this. My sense of smell since my imprisonment in the Shinra building. I don't know, Cloud. It hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though. <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Ah. Let's go see Oliver. And that fire was crazy. Once he starts using it, he's there's no stopping him. You got him, did you? Mm hmm. Made that bastard mm -hmm. pay. Nice go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Do I get Changing some meat too? A bit, but uh, I heard Bro's not feeling so hot. He was you coughing. Calm again. Mind checking on him? Yeah, he was coughing. I remember that. Oh look, Red likes me a little bit more now. Hey. You okay? I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. All thanks to you. You've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? Everyone else does. Wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. What's wrong? You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? What are you, a doctor? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess. Calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Oh. Sounds pretty crazy saying it aloud. Something about a reunion? How involved with Shinra were you? I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. Why are you so pissed at Shinra? I'll spare you the grisly details and just say they stole my life from me, my family, my home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this, a soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. Living in hate can poison a man. Hmm. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement. Out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. Interesting. I've heard of another city, a town being a uh, re remade from from scratch, kind of by by Shinra. I wonder if it's a similar kind of situation. Probably not that drastic. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? It looks a like shit. Of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where Language. you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? How do you know Broden? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. What happened between Broden and Shinra? Wow, we are just so nosy. What happened between Broden and Shinra? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even handpicked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't Ooh. long after that we lost contact. That doesn't By sound good. By the time good. we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? I have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. If Broden will get better. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. 
So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Okay, how do we obtain the part? Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. Excuse you? So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? What transmutation materials do we need? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzalcoatl, this rare bird. That's a quaddle? Need. Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure Shinra's to blame for that, too. But maybe you'll have better luck. Time to tap into some life springs. Yeah. All right. Windmills. I never knew how friend. to say that. What's a? That's a quaddle. That's a quaddle. I always said that's a coddle. I uh, no. I always always said that's a coddle. So, yeah. I kind of flipped it. From what it's supposed to be. What? Pets a quaddle. Pets a quaddle. Pets a quaddle. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to rewire my brain for that one. So. Hmm. Won't be able to do this until you get it to spawn through doing most of the springs. Ooh. I see. Okay. In that case, let's go exploring. Let's head on out the back way. Oh, this. Whoa. Look, a whole different scenery. Where's all the green? Ooh. It's like a electric guitar version of Hollow Skies as opposed to the acoustic. Cool. So cool. Seen better days. Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war ended. In other words, we gotta hook it because Shinra's run by tight wads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. Yeah. Who do you? Well, she will, and she does. Aerith is like the... The embodiment of you do you. Right? Aerith, she, she doesn't care what anybody else thinks. She's gonna say what she thinks, she's gonna do what she wants, and that's that.
Get your ass out of here. Oh. <laughs> Look at this place. So we need to get just a certain number of whatever of these life stream fountains in order for Quetzalcoatl to appear or is it certain ones? Look at that. Look at that. I need to do four, you think? Well, I've done three, I believe. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzalcoatl, a rare bird oh, no. in these lands. There we go. So rare, in fact, that few have ever seen it. This is a prime research opportunity for us. I should also mention that you'll need its talents to transmute the part the windmill requires. I know that. Mildred is anxiously awaiting your return. So I recommend subduing the creature with haste. It's a quaddle. Oh. It's like right next door. How convenient. Once a specific number of life springs have been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Upon arrival, hold triangle to lure out your foe, but be warned you cannot flee from these battles. not but we're gonna do it anyways have ice shit she doesn't have ice
Thunder Cloud. Taking over. I believe in you. No guts. You're up. Let's go. Okay, so it's. Is it pressured? I don't know. Staggered. Braver. Keep it up. This is now. Barret used overcharge. Barret used maximum fury. And you. Come on. Um, Aerith, let's use Bray. Why don't you lead the way? Okay. Let me get in here. I can double cast the ice, right? Deal with that. Summon Ramu. Summon. Summon. Leviathan. Who does Aerith have? I'll take care of them. Summon Shiva. I've been dying to see you. Let's go. I think we can win this. Ooh, Cloud has this limit. Ooh, yeah. got it's your turn. I got it. Here we go. Do it. Go on. With me. No, I'm cheering for you. Do, 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 do. Heavenly Strike! Oh, Shiva! Keep it together. Oh, pressured. Okay, let's use Overcharge. And let's use Focus Shot and then Cloud. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Cross. Slash. Now's our chance. Let's do this. And, uh. Attack, charge, loud, braver. Shiva's still here. Synergy abilities. Firework blade. Ooh. I've never seen this before. Certain. Synergy abilities can raise the character's limit level, which will in turn unlock more powerful limit break attacks. For example, Cloud can perform cross slash at level one and ascension at level two. You can also unlock level three limit break attacks through your character's full yo's. Wait, what? Raise a character's limit break. Okay. Or limit level. I don't understand. So is our limit level increased because we used it? I need I need some hearing here. Why don't you I need we all need to heal. Overcharge. Oh, Shiva's still out here. Okay, this heavenly spike. Oh, she's lasting a long time. Uh oh, Cloud is in trouble. Diamond dust time. Until next time. Woo! Oh, Shiva's so gorgeous. She's one of my favorites. She's always been one of my favorite summons. I've never seen a bad like version of Shiva. She always looks amazing. Pencil Quaddle defeated. Amazing Quaddle. work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make Mai's presence more tolerable. How do you? Volume. 
He muted her. to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You should now be able to craft the requisite part for the windmill. No doubt Mildred is impatiently awaiting its delivery. No, 